Hello, user testing community. It is Mike McDowell once again from the Solutions Consulting team here at User Testing, back with another tip of the week. Now, if you follow these tips of the week, you'll know that I said I did not do a tip of the week this week, but I felt a little guilty about it. Um, I, I didn't get the 100 uh, reactions that I wanted, but I got a fair amount. And so I thought, why not take a little time this evening and record a tip of the week so you can have one bright and early on Wednesday morning. So today's tip, as you can see behind me, is going to be all about prototypes. You can see I've got Figma open here in the background, uh, and it is a Figma prototype that we had at user testing. We'd used it for a particular feature launch uh, in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm starting with my Figma prototype. You can see I am actually in the edit mode inside of Figma, and I've got my whole Figma thing here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm not going to say share because share is going to try to share an editable, uh, an edit mode version of this. I'm going to go into presentation mode in this prototype. And so when I click it, it's going to actually give me the actual interactive prototype where I can click different things. It tells me the only things I can click are here, 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 etc. Sort of irrelevant. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the prototype, make sure I get that first URL. And I'm going to copy this URL. This is the URL I need, and I'm going to go ahead and take that over to user testing. So when I go over to user testing, I come over here and I go and I search through the template gallery if I want to start with a template, and I filter by prototypes. So now, if I want to start with a template, I can use any one of these templates, or I can scroll down and use a basic prototype evaluation for a test plan. Or if you want to use a quick answer, you can validate a prototype. Now, when I say validate a prototype for the quick answer, it's going to be fill in the blanks. I say use this template, I take my prototype link. I paste it right in there. I name my test, Mike's Tip Tuesday Prototype Demo, and then I just come up with a task that I wanted people to do in the prototype. Now, in this case, I have another test that's already executed. It's kind of like a cooking show today. And so I've got a study that's already built. I'm gonna jump right over to that here. Now, this is a basic uh, prototype study. Now, this is a custom built study. It's not using one of those templates, but you can see there's a Figma prototype pasted right in here. And then I got the test plan right down here. Four simple tasks, four simple requests about that prototype so we can learn uh, whether or not it was a good prototype or not. Now, just before we get into it, I'm going to take this URL. If I click it, I'm going to come right over here to this prototype. This is all about downloading the user testing app this is, uh, some, when we were making some enhancements to it. You can see I can only click on one thing, this button. That brings me to another page. You'll notice the URL is changing slightly as I go. So I'm going to say accept. You'll see little tiny changes. It shifts a little bit. That's because the URL is changing. That's very important. One of the most common questions I get about prototypes is, does some of the advanced features, the enhanced metrics, work in user testing with a prototype? Well, when the study is executed, as this one has, we're going to have the first basic set of information is our video recordings. All the video recordings are here. We can click on any one of these. We can watch people interact with the prototype. You'll notice some of them are mobile users and some are web users. You can test prototypes on both platforms. Um, one being so that it looks more like mobile on mobile, and two, you can test just using a mobile, uh, a mobile prototype on a desktop very easily. But when we go through this, we're going to click over to our metrics tab. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So you come over to our metrics tab now, and we've got all the normal bells and whistles and enhanced metrics that we have. These instant insights panels right at the top of the study for the overview. Then we come down here, we've got a beautiful keyword map. Um, the prototype has qualified you for an app test without clicking anything. What do you see? Positive feedback and some neutral feedback. Then this is the big one. Does the interactive path flow work with a prototype? If your prototype is interactive and when you click on the prototype, you go to a different URL, unique URL, then yes, you will see all of those interactions. Now, because this prototype was, it was defined that you could only click one thing, we shouldn't have any deviation. Now, what we do see is that one user here, we've got um, Kosamai, did not go all the way to the end. So that is something that we might want to look into. Is there something that was not obvious what to click to get to this last page? But what? So what? What do we want? What do we want the interact, interactive path flow for? Well, remember, we've got sentiment and we've got intent. In this case, I'm just going to click on sentiment, and we can now see that Ninja Shark Attack had negative feedback on three of the steps. If I click on this one step, just like with a website, I can click on the person, and I see uh, should be a back button, uh, but click this. Okay, and I click the next page. That's weird. It should have already had it. So I can go in just like anything else. I can play the video, and I can see my transcript. I've got my transcript up here. Uh, when it loads, it's going to be right here. I've got my full transcript. 
I've got all my smart tag sentiments right here. I can filter anything. I can see all my clips here and I can make highlight reels directly from that. Now, that's basically all there is to it. I had my Figma prototype over here. I went to presentation mode so I can get the URL for it. I put that URL into a template. Then I ended up with my video feedback here, my details, I see everything. I've got my sessions to play and I've got my instant insights via the metrics tab. So that's it. It's just that simple. As I said, I'm on PTO, so I'm going to cut this one right here. But don't worry, I'll be back again in six days with another user testing tip of the week. Sorry I was late, everybody.